what's going on with my camera? It's acting really funny. Hmm, I don't know. But anyways, hey you guys. It's been a minute. I think it's been several months. Thank y'all for tuning in. And hi to everybody that's been subscribing. I appreciate it. I think I'm most of here for my Rod Text reviews though. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick update about what's going on, where I am, where I've been, how life has been. I recently graduated. Some of you guys may know that I've uh, been a graduate student for the last few years and I just finished my master's portion. I just finished my master's in science. I'm not done. I'm a PhD student, so I still have my doctoral classes to finish. So hopefully I only have a few more years of school left. But I was really excited about that, really excited to finish. Moreover, I was really excited to look at my transcript the other day and see it officially on their Masters of Science. I was like, yeah, that's, that's me. <laughs> uh, so I, I did that and I also got another job. Um, I started another position, which is really awesome. I work with special needs kids um, and kids with disabilities, just marginalized youth. And it, that means really a lot to me. I help them get work experience and go to school and I work a lot with the communities to help them do that so I'm really amped about that and some of you guys subscribe because of my the video that I did with my son and he was a big part a big blessing that I was able to get this position and I am as passionate about it as I am because you can do it and even though it's like a life update type of video it's also an encouraging video because uh, I still get comments on the video about my son and when I see them and I read them and I see all those other women out there that are going through the things that I was going through, which is why I did that video. And thank y'all for looking at it because I did that in a moment of, wow, who else feels like me? Um, but who needs my encouragement too? You can do whatever you put your mind to. I was looking at a video the other day and I think, um, I forget her name. She was like mom of eight. And I, I looked and I subscribed because I wanted to see her success. And she made a comment about, you know, she feel like she couldn't go back to school. And I commented on her video and I told her, you can always go back to school. And this is not going to, this is not about going to school. It's, it's not. Because school is not for everybody. Everybody is not meant to go to get a two-year, a four-year, or a six-year, eight-year degree. That's just not. That just happened to be an outlet for me. Um, because school is my thing. So... It's something that actually kept me sane and kept me going, and it was just a personal goal. But whatever your goals are, it doesn't matter what you've gone through, you can still do what you love. You can still have a comfortable life where you are living well, taking care of yourself and your children if you have kids, or just your, your household, whoever your family is for you. You can have a life where you can enjoy them, enjoy yourself, and that's a big thing too. Even though my life is really crazy right now, I'm going, 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 but it's in a good way and I still get some flexibility to sit down and to breathe. And that's a big thing as well because you have to take care of you, but taking care of you while you're doing what you love. I mean, I told someone the other day, for me, I am fortunate enough now and don't get it wrong, you guys, I'm in my thirties, okay? I might not, I know I don't look like it, okay? <laughs> but yeah I am so it took me a minute to get here and I'm not finished because I have so much more that I want to do and I've been by myself since I was 15 I was a teenage mom um, I've been married and divorced and remarried but that's a whole other story um, I can share that with you guys if y'all I feel like you can relate or would just like to know my story behind that but I've been a single mom. I was a single mom for a long time, and it was really hard. And my son is disabled. That was really hard. I lived a lot of my uh, 20s in the hospital with him, comas, doctor's visits, all that, hospitalizations, multiple times a year. And then I have a daughter. That was hard for her, and it was difficult for me and her to grow together because of these aspects, me being so young, having the kids, having a sick child. But I stuck with my goals, finishing school. I knew that I wanted more for them. Um, I knew that I didn't want to have to rely on governmental assistance. I knew that I wanted to be out on my own and um, just survive for me and manage myself, manage my mind, my spirit, my finances, you know, my life and breathe. I knew that I wanted to do that. And there was a lot of bumps along the way. I am 
I now understand I'm a reclusive person. I didn't have many friends along that journey either, so I didn't have people to pick up the phone and talk to. My grandma became like my best friend when I got into my 20s because I didn't have any other friends. My life kept me in the house and that it, it does get lonely, but I learned to be okay with being alone in a sense and that really helped me know more about myself. I can make a whole other video about that um, actually. But yeah, it was it was it was a journey. Yeah, when I was at I was working and I had a meeting yesterday as a matter of fact and the woman that I was meeting, I've actually known her for 14 years. And um she said, "Wow, Aubrey, you really really made something out of yourself and I'm so proud of you." Because yeah, to know me, to know a little bit, it easily could have been that I would be a statistic. And that's why I want to encourage you guys. You don't have to be. There is more. There is so much more in the world for you to have, for you to run out there and grab it. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't have it. Surround yourself with positive people. Even if there are just a few positive people and you only talk to them a few times a year. But surround yourself with positive people that will encourage you, that will uplift you. And surround yourself with people that are on the same track. Y'all don't have to be going into the same career or have the same exact goals, but surround yourself with people that have goals and are actively pursuing those goals because y'all will feed off each other's energy and you will help one another succeed in some way, shape, form, or another. But don't stay stagnated with people that are stagnated. You know, pray for them, still speak, say hi, hey, how you doing? But continue to elevate yourself and don't be scared to. Do not be your own worst enemy. I am, I was, and I still am, but that's on a, it's to another level now. Now I'm just I'm obsessive compulsive, if you will, about my work and getting things done and time, time management, girl. <laughs> but I just wanted to come on here and say, hey, you guys, I've seen so many people popping up that have subscribed, whether you come here for my supplement reviews or just me with my random self, thank you and welcome. Um, it's all love and I just want to spread that and some joy and I love interacting with you guys too in the comments so yeah I look forward to hopefully seeing you guys a little more often than not again time has been crazy for me but I do appreciate you guys because when I get some of y'all's comments that gives me energy and I love to just kind of go back and have that dialect and realize that you guys are going through the same things that I'm going through which I knew that which is why I do this so yeah I hope that you guys are doing amazing. If you are in Texas, y'all know how hot it is, but wherever you guys are in the States, in the world, I hope y'all are enjoying a good summer or getting ready to enjoy a good summer. If you have kids, you know, I hope that y'all can enjoy that time with them and balance working and having kids at home. But that is it for me, you guys. I'm going to go clean up now. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.